So what's up now? So now it's Kellyanne Conway got the Rona too. That Rose Garden situation is the gift that keeps on giving. Trump and crew. Hmm. So my grandmother always said, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing. So I'll take a moment of silence. It's too easy to go there. Too easy. This man's been racist. He's been ruthless. And he's been garbage. He's been divisive. He's been hateful. He's been arrogant. And he chose not to take precaution. He knowingly was told by the CDC and the people to mask up, distance. He knowingly didn't. To me, he should be charged with a crime. And should all those people should be. Because they are high paying ranks, uh, civilians working in government proximities. There is no excuse for them to do what they did. But did they think because they were white that they were exempt? Did they think they were white that they wouldn't get it? Did they think because they were white and they had money they were to not to it wasn't going to happen to them? I mean, all this stuff is coming out left and right. And it's been there for the naked eye for months on end. People out here are suffering financially, spiritually, and psychologically. The unknown, the air you breathe, you take. And he had no sympathy or compassion. Kellyanne Conway, the same thing. Now you got to go get the exterminator to clean out the disinfected debris in the White House. It's an old, crusty, old, crabby building that is not very sanitary. And it was only a matter of time. Hope Hicks became the one that set it off and now it spread like wildfire. And though people aren't wishing any ill on nobody, ain't going to be no sympathy for him either. Why? Because he brought this on himself and he spreaded it. And he spreaded his evil and his racist agenda and that negativity. And what do you expect? What are they looking for? Do they think people are going to suddenly go, oh, you know, no. You play tough, you got to get rolled with the punches. Twitter keyboard gangster and thugging at three in the morning, what you got now? Ain't no sympathy coming and ain't nobody feeling nothing. Not the ones that are him. And imagine all the people who've lost loved ones, have had to psychologically go through this, been psychologically isolated. And he sat there and lied, sat there and denied, sat there and played it off like it was a joke. Made fun of Joe Biden, made fun of anybody who's laughing now. You know, who laughs least, you better off just to take this thing serious. See? Mm-hmm. So Kellyanne Conway's got it. She shuffles along with him. Nobody's going to feel sorry for her. I ain't feeling sorry for none of them. Because I've had to mask up and deal with the new norm for a minute. And it ain't no fun. But I'd rather do it than be do something stupid. If you truly care about fellow other Americans and people here, you set the agenda. You don't listen to idiotics. Somebody going to sit there and tell the CDC or tell the scientists, the people who get paid to do their job and to contradict them. And now who's sitting in the hospital? Who's up here sitting there up here saying they got this and that? Think about it. This ain't no joke. Kellyanne Conway, just the latest one. That White House mirage, it done set off on this here. Give me your thoughts and your takes about Kellyanne Conway now. Testing for the Rona and the whole fallout. Hit that like, subscribe, and the bell rings new video. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. And it's happening. It knows no age, no race, no background, no economic. If you take it for granted, it can happen to you. I'm out.